All right, guys, so I'm here at ICAST. Uh, on my right, this is Marty Zoffinger. What's up, man? Uh, if you know his YouTube channel, I'm sure a lot of guys mentioned his channel on mine. Uh, today, we're gonna, one of the most interesting products I would like to take a look at is the new Pelican pedal driven system. So, Marty, give our viewers a little preview of this. This is um, a familiar drive to a lot of people who uh, have had Hobies in the past. Uh, Pelican has now made their own version of it. This is a free market design uh, available to anybody nowadays. So uh, Pelican grabbed it and ran with it and they're trying to make uh, an economical version of a fin style propulsion boat. So Marty, so a lot of my viewers that have seen watched my channel for years, they know I've been on a Hobie. Um, that I am I'm a big fan of this type of propulsion system. Um, just give us a walk through, let you know. Everyone's going to be curious about the, the drive. People are going to be curious about the drive well, how it goes in, a couple okay, of these other um, features. The uh, Pelican makes their boats uh, with two sheets of plastic that come together. It's not a rotor mold. It has advantages. It also has some limitations. Uh, the limitations are how far it can stretch when, when the two halves come together and the uh, plastic is injected in or manipulated into the mold. That's why you see an insert here, because the plastic would not be able to stretch that far this precisely. So they have a different type of plastic insert within the TST, which is Twin Sheet sure. Thermoform Boat. Um, you know, what does that mean? It means you have a, an insert versus just the hull being the same. Uh, I, I really think this makes a lot of sense, actually, that, that you're talking about this. Yeah. Especially, what, what do you think is the main advantage of that? I, I have one in my head but I don't want to say it. I want to see um, what you think. Well, uh, the TST advantage is that uh, it starts at a particular thickness and uh, not like a rotor mold. In a rotor mold, the boat, you put the plastic in and you have to have enough so that when it cures as it's rolling, you're going to have thick parts and thin parts. It makes a heavier boat if you want to have a minimal thickness to your boat. This is uniform when it begins before it takes the shape of the boat. Exactly. So it makes it thinner. And you, if you can look here, Look at this uh, cutaway. This is the plastic, and it has multiple layers like plywood. A thin piece of wood by itself, a single layer, would be weak. But multiple layers going this way and that way um, increase the strength of the plastic. So it can be thinner and stronger, uh, stiffer because of this seam. When you have this big fat seam running down this, the length of the boat, it prevents it from flexing at all. And it's also really, really uh, the strongest part of the boat is a cutaway version right here. It's where the two pieces come together. It's actually thicker, and they are welded together. If this boat were going to break, it would break somewhere else, because this is actually now a stronger part of the boat. Very cool. Yep. Yeah, they've done strength tests, and uh, TST boats have outperformed rotor molding boats in strength and durability. So that's the locking system. So you flip them forward, right? Yep. And that's it. Very, very familiar to most who are curious. Yep. Very familiar. Yeah, let me just take a close up of the chains and stuff. People are, yeah. A couple nerdy people who check out my, oh, that's, I like that. Instead of, I, I like this idea too. So I have the washers. Because uh, these used to uh, loosen up on me over time. Very familiar concept. Yeah, I think they did a, a wonderful job considering they had to make this themselves from scratch. They had an idea to go by, but they had to outsource everything and, and design it, do it in an affordable manner. So that's no easy task. Not at all, no. These guys have been really, really busy. And they, they made a good design. And it, it does everything you're familiar with. Like you can change the, yep. the like if you're short, you move your pedals backwards. Do you know what these pedal arms are made of? I do not. I do want to film that. Because this used to be a thing that broke. break a lot. Yeah. One of the cool things about under here is that they, they made a concave shape to the hull, which protects your fins a little bit when you're when you're in really shallow water. Mm -hmm. I've never had a problem with these collecting uh, weeds or anything, but this will probably help protect it even a little bit further. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is going to be your first point of contact, yes. which is good. Yeah. Versus having this be your first point of contact yeah. on the bottom. Correct. So yep. you rather you rather ride up on a rock with this any day of the week than ride up on a rock with this. Yes. <laughs> yep. um, it's a single position seat. It comes out really easy. And uh, the strap here holds it down. So it's a pretty 
pretty simple. To put in and take out, the weight of the boat is 85 pounds. 85. Without the seat, which is about 5 pounds, without the drive, which is another 6 or 7. Mm -hmm. So you're talking a total weight will eventually be about 96, 97 pounds. And um, it could change because, again, this is just a prototype. Uh, yeah. The date for it to come out is going to be January of 2019. Actually, somebody came by and they talked about the, the wires being on the outside as an advantage. Because sometimes when they're buried inside, if something happens or it breaks... Right, sometimes, especially when you have connections somewhere in the hull. Yep. I think the everyday, like, you might be like, oh, I wish it was on the inside, but when that, when the, the you know, you've been out on the water for two years, and things will, Sometimes you know. Sometimes a simpler design is actually the better design. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I agree with your thought. Yeah, 100%. That's very cool. Time will tell. Time will tell. <laughs> I'm loving it. I, I'm, I just love the, I love innovation. I love something new that is, you know, anybody who wants to try it. Well, thanks to Marty. Um, I think this is very exciting. It's the price point for somebody who always wanted a pedal boat, especially in my opinion, the freshwater guys are going to really eat this up, for sure. Yeah, if you have a spouse or something, you're going to buy two boats. <laughs> this is going to cut your uh, your cost down by yeah. a lot of money. It's, it's, it's definitely a way to justify getting into the pedal boat market if you were really thinking about it, but you didn't want to pull the trigger. No, I, I'm really excited. It's great to see this. and it's it, Every time, competition is the best. The market is now in a new... New things are coming in the future for the consumer. The consumer now has new choices and things that's really exciting. So yeah, I'm, happy, I'm happy about that. I'm also happy that the guys from Hopi came by and gave us the thumbs up and said we did a good job. And uh, that wow. made me feel good, you know? Wow. Yeah, I, respect those guys. I did not think that was going to be. Really? Me neither. I thought that was like, you guys are going to throw rocks at me or something? <laughs> but no, they were, they were gracious and uh, excited for us. Uh, in my mind, they continue to be the... Uh, um, a brand to and, look up to. Your area, that's, really, uh, that's really exciting. And, but, and more so now because they were willing to share. Uh, they really did make me feel good to hear that opinion of theirs. They're just like, such a likable guy, Marty. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, dude. Check out Marty's channel. Hey, guys. Um, it's great meeting you finally and checking out the new boat. Uh, we'll see what else I end up putting on the channel for my cast. I'll catch you guys soon. I think that's pretty interesting and a really interesting new product to hit the market. I think the guys that like freshwater, uh, freshwater fish a lot and aren't in a pedal driven boat yet, um, it's innovation. It's different. And, you know, it's hopefully the first step in other manufacturers getting on board. Uh, Pelican did the first one. And uh, I think in the next couple of years, things are going to get really interesting um, to get this system out in other boats. I'm very excited. I think we'll see more and more, more manufacturers using this pedal drive system. And um, in my opinion, it's going to be a the consumer is going to have a lot of choices in the next five years in kayak fishing, so it should be a good time to be a consumer um, and have your choice of what brand, what kind of boat, what features you want. So thanks for Mar thanks to Marty for taking the time to hang out with me and uh, show me this new Pelican. Wish him all the best. Uh, things are looking good. So uh, let's see if we find anything else that's interesting in this show.